Hi everyone, welcome back to my devlog series, where I document the development of my indie 2D isometric strategy game, Sublunar. A game where you help factions assert dominance in the region by performing missions and strategic upgrades, while managing money and subsiding revolts. On Friday, I dropped the teaser trailer for the game. Please check it out. And while you're at it, please head over to Steam and wishlist it if you have any interest in playing it when it comes out by the end of the year. Links in the description. This week, I want to show you how I go about creating a map in the game. Let's get into it. As I've showed way back in this devlog series, I utilize Google Sheets as my database for all in-game content, including maps. This is later converted to JSON via Google script, which is imported into the game. Let's create a simple map. Here I have prepared a grid that is mapping to the isometric grid in the game. By adding an X in a cell, I tell the parser I want that to be represented by a ground tile. The color is just conditional formatting I've added, so it's easier to visualize in Google Sheets. Now let's build up an interesting grid pattern. Next step is to add settlements to the map. There is no limit to how many, but for simplicity's sake, let's add two. Settlements are represented by the character S and an ID. Next, we can connect settlements with a transportation, represented by the character T and an ID. Lastly, we set where the player will enter the game. Let's place him here. This part of the map creation is done. Now we have to give more information to the parser about the map, settlements and the transportation. This is done in other tables. In the maps table, I give details about the map like name, terrain category, starting cache, etc. In the settlements table, I give each settlement a name, a category and starting alignment. And in the transportations table, I define the transportation category. We're not completely done though. Each settlement must have at least one location, and every location will need to have at least one NPC. Let's add those. Now we are done. Let's export this to JSON and add it to the game. Let's try the new map out. I actually hope to make this a feature, where you can add your own custom maps to the game, since it's fairly straightforward. More news on that in the future. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and wishlist the game on Steam. Links in the description. See you next week.